Rico. Puerto Rico, Table of Contents All about Puerto Rico With visiting and touring information Geography History Attractions And other points of interest Dr. Sydney Socloth Dr. Sydney 22 at gmail.com 2023 Narration by Dr. Sydney Socloth Zoe Phonemes and Nathan Cole Tove. For a complete discussion of YouTube navigation, please go to tiny.1/ytnavigator. Puerto Rico. This is the Puerto Rico anthem. <laughs> But the local anthem, entitled La Grand Kenya, is more often heard on the island, and is more identified with by the people. This is the flag of Puerto Rico. Among all the Caribbean island groups, Puerto Rico has the closest association with the United States. Puerto Rico is an autonomous part of the United States called the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, or Estado Libre Asociado de Puerto Rico. The island and its citizens are self governed as a free associated state of the United States. Where is Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico is in the Caribbean Sea. At the eastern end of the Greater Antilles. Which includes the islands of Cuba. Jamaica. Hispaniola and Puerto Rico. The Greater Antilles include the island countries of Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti and the Dominican Republic Hispaniola, and Puerto Rico. Just to the east of Puerto Rico is the Lesser Antilles. These are the much smaller islands to the southeast, and they are divided into two groups, the Leeward Islands to the north, and Windward Islands to the south. How big is Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico's total area, including the neighboring islands it administers, is about 3,515 square miles or 9,104 square kilometers. Puerto Rico is a little more than twice the size of Rhode Island, the smallest state of the U.S. It is about two-thirds the size of Connecticut in terms of European countries. It is the same size as Cyprus. The U.S. state of New Jersey is about 2.5 times the size of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is roughly rectangular in shape and stretches for 110 miles or 180 kilometers from east to west between Punta Iguero and Punta Puerca. The width from north to south averages 35 miles or 56 kilometers. 
Puerto Rico administers several island dependencies. The two largest are Vieques and Culebra which are to the east in, the west are three smaller island dependencies, Mona, Moneto, and De Secchio. The capital and principal city of Puerto Rico is San Juan located on the northeast coast of the island. San Juan is on the Atlantic Ocean side of the island. The southern coast of Puerto Rico faces the Caribbean Sea. The population of Puerto Rico is approximately 4 million. The principal cities of Puerto Rico are San Juan, Arecibo, Mayaguez, Ponce, and Bayamón. This is the population of the major cities in Puerto Rico in thousands. Is it San Juan, Puerto Rico or Puerto Rico, San Juan? Originally the island was named by Columbus as San Juan Bautista, St. John the Baptist. And the port city was called Puerto Rico or Rich Port, Leche. The names got switched and now the island is Puerto Rico and the city is San Juan. Christopher Columbus named the island San Juan in honor of John the Baptist. The original settlement of San Juan was founded in 1508 on the main island. But in 1521 it was moved to two nearby rocky islets. The settlement was first known as Puerto Rico, meaning rich port, and the mainland as San Juan Bautista o St. John the Baptist. In 1521. The newer settlement was given its formal name of San Juan Batista de Puerto Rico, following the usual custom of giving the town both its formal name and the name which Christopher Columbus had originally given the island, honoring John the Baptist. The indistinct use of San Juan Batista and Puerto Rico for calling both the city and the island led to a reversal in practical use by most inhabitants. By 1746 the name for the city, Puerto Rico, had become that of the anti-island. While the name for the island, San Juan Bautista, had become the name for the city. What does Puerto Rico look like? Puerto Rico is hilly and mountainous. An example of this is a mountain range in Puerto Rico. The mountainous core is formed by the Cordillera Central, a continuation of the Cordillera Central on neighboring Hispaniola. Only 30% of the island can be classified as level, mostly in the form of a narrow coastal plain. The highest point in Puerto Rico is the Cerro de Punta at 4,400 feet or 1,338 meters. Where do most Puerto Ricans live? Probably not in Puerto Rico. The total population of Puerto Ricans living in the United States has increased dramatically in the past few decades, and is now about equal to that of Puerto Rico itself. The migration from Puerto Rico to the United States started to increase in the late 1940s, and reached a peak of 80,000 per year in 1954. Since then, it has varied considerably, and in the 1970s there have been periods in which there has been a net migration back to the island. The number of persons of Puerto Rican birth or origin residing in the United States is now almost equal to the island's population. In 1940 only about 70,000 Puerto Ricans lived in the United States with nine-tenths of them clustered in New York City. By 1960 the U.S.-based Puerto Rican population had increased to 887,000, of which 615,000 were born in Puerto Rico and 272,000 in the United States, and had already begun to disperse throughout the country, although the largest group remained in New York City.
By the late 1990s the number of Puerto Ricans in the United States had increased nearly fourfold over the 1960 level to more than 3 million, including some 1,200,000 born on the island. The Puerto Ricans are still heavily concentrated in New York with a Puerto Rican population of about 1 million. There are also substantial numbers of Puerto Ricans in other states, such as New Jersey, Illinois, Florida, and California. Puerto Ricans have carved out a place for themselves in North American society, occupying leading positions in government, business, education, and the arts. Virtually every Puerto Rican residing in the United States has relatives on the island. So there is frequent back and forth travel, particularly during the summer and Christmas holidays. The northeastern states in particular have a high Puerto Rican concentration. New York State alone has half the Puerto Rican population of the entire United States, with about one million. New Jersey is in second place with a quarter million. How does the population of Puerto Rico compare to other places in the Caribbean? Hey, the population figures for the Caribbean countries with populations greater than 1 million. We see that Puerto Rico has the fourth largest population in the region. Here is a bar chart showing the population figures for the most populous Caribbean countries. Puerto Rico is a largely urbanized country with almost three-fourths of the population living in cities and towns. The distance between San Juan, Puerto Rico and New York City is 1,610 miles, or 2,590 kilometers, as the crow flies. A major gateway city for airline flights from North America to San Juan is Miami. The distance from Miami to San Juan is 1,040 miles or 1,670 kilometers. The people of Puerto Rico. The people of Puerto Rico have patria, a love for their country that accepts the free association with the mainland, but emphasizes loyalty to their own culture, way of life, spirit, folklore, hospitality, and ways of getting along with others. Many Puerto Ricans moved between the island and the United States mainland to get the best of both worlds culture, identity, and a familiar environment on the island. In material wealth, education, acquisition of skills, and opportunities for their children from a temporary residence in the United States. The constant circulation of Puerto Ricans between homes is now an enduring feature of the island's experience. The American influence is strong in Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Children born here are full U.S. citizens. Ethnic groups in Puerto Rico White, mostly of Spanish origin, is 81%. Black 8%. Amerindian 0.4%, Asian 0.2%, mixed another 11%. There is the religious affiliation in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is predominantly Roman Catholic, with 85% of the population. Protestants and the Fed denominations represent the remaining 15%. There is the religious affiliation in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is predominantly Roman Catholic with 85% of the population. Protestant and the Fed denominations represent the remaining 15%. A brief history of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico was known as Barinca Ain to the indigenous Taino Indians closely related to the Arawaks. Christopher Columbus claimed Puerto Rico for Spain in 1493. But the arrival of the first governor, Juan Ponce de Leon, and the first Spanish settlers did not occur until 1508. 
when the Spanish first settled the island in 1508. The prosperity of the Tainos prompted the notion that Ha indeed was a rich port. Imported diseases soon decimated the Taino population. From a population of more than 30,000 before the arrival of the Europeans, missionary reports of 1515 recorded only 4,000. Juan Ponce de Leon, I searched for the fountain of youth, but I didn't find it. Then, I found the next best thing. Puerto Rico Puerto Rico was originally inhabited by some 30,000 Taino Indians who called their island Baricane. The inhabitants of Puerto Rico call themselves Bariquinahos, and their national anthem is La Boricuña. During the early 16th century, San Juan was the point of departure for Spanish expeditions to Chateau settle unknown parts of the New World. The city successfully withstood several attempts by the British and the Dutch to seize Rico from the Spanish. The island remained Spanish despite harassment and conquest attempts by buccaneers and pirates and English and Dutch expeditions. To defend the island against these threats, two forts, El Moro and San Cristobal, we built to guard the approaches to San Juan Harbor. These forts foiled attempts by C. Francis Drake in 1595, by Anoth the English fleet in 1598, and by the Dutch in 1625 to capture Puerto Rico. The defeat of the British in 1797 finally ended that country's designs on the island, and the Spanish realm was kept intact. Puerto Ricans revolted against Spanish domination in 1868, and in 1897 home rule was established. Puerto Rico was given the status of a Spanish dominion. In 1892 during the time of home rule, the flag of Puerto Rico was adopted which was based on the Cuban flag, with the colors inverted. This autonomy was short-lived. As the United States defeated Spain in the Spanish-American War in 1898, and Puerto Rico was ceded by Spain to the U.S. along with almost all of Spain's colonies, including Guam and the Philippines, and Spain relinquished sovereignty over Cuba. San Juan remained the seat of government when Puerto Rico became a United States territory in 1898. It remained as the capital when, in 1952, Puerto Rico became a Commonwealth of the United States. By the Jones Act of 1917, Puerto Ricans became American citizens and Puerto Rico became an unincorporated territory of the United States. Partial self-government was granted in 1947, enabling citizens to elect their own governor. Further autonomy was granted in 1951, when Puerto Ricans wrote their own constitution and elected a non-voting commissioner to represent them in Washington. In 1952 Puerto Rico officially designated itself with the term Commonwealth of Puerto Rico in its constitution, as a translation into English of the term to Estado Libacesado. Literally translated into English the phrase Estado Libacesado means Associated Free State. What is a Commonwealth? A commonwealth is a nation or state governed by the people. Does the U.S. have any other commonwealths? Yes. Four states designate themselves as commonwealths. They are Virginia, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania and Kentucky. Who Puerto Ricans now have most of the benefits of American citizenship. 
However, the domination of Puerto Rico by the United States is a major political issue. Some Puerto Ricans object to being ineligible to vote in presidential elections despite being subject to service in the armed forces. The independentists call for total independence as a nation state. Others support the present Commonwealth status. And a third group hopes to see Puerto Rico become the 51st state in referenda held in 1967, 1993, and 1998. Puerto Ricans voted to retain the Commonwealth status. But the issue remained a point of contention into the 21st century. Emigration to the United States began in earnest after 1950 and rapidly swelled to a mass exodus in 1953. For example, 75,000 emigrants left the island. New York City now has a Puerto Rican community in excess of three quarters of a million. And other Puerto Rican concentrations are found in several United States cities. This outmigration, however, was matched by return migration. Since 1965 the number of Puerto Ricans returning home has either equaled or exceeded those leaving. This circulation pattern and willingness to spend some time off the island is common among Puerto Ricans of all ages. And it serves as a continuing reinforcement of the interdependence of the island with its mainland partner. Patria and feelings of love for their island home are not diminished by this dual existence. Rather, Puerto Ricans adopt a practical approach to this way of getting the best of both worlds. San Juan is the capital and largest city of the island Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. San Juan is a major Caribbean port and tourist resort. It is located on a well-protected harbor on the island's northern coast. San Juan is the oldest city under the United States flag. Founded in 1565, it is the second oldest European established capital city in the Americas, after Santo Domingo, in the Dominican Republic, which was founded in 1498. St. Augustine in Florida was founded in 1565, and is the oldest continuously occupied European established settlement in the continental United States. Today, San Juan serves as Puerto Rico's most important seaport, as well as the main manufacturing, financial, cultural, and tourist center. Here is the location of San Juan on the Atlantic coast of Puerto Rico. San Juan occupies part of a small island separated from the remainder of Puerto Rico by San Juan Bay and Condado Lagoon, to the south. This shows San Juan with the Atlantic Ocean on the north, and San Juan Bay and Condado Lagoon to the south. The smaller island is connected to the shores of the bay by bridges, a causeway, and ferry boats. This is Puente Condado. This shows the location of the old town of San Juan. The population of the metropolitan area including San Juan and the municipalities of Bayamon, Carolina, Gainabo, Cantanio, Caguas, Toa Baja and Trujillo Alto is about 1.3 million inhabitants. Ferifo about 1 in 3 Puerto Ricans now live in this area. In Spanish colonial times, most of the urban population resided in what is known now as Old San Juan. Old San Juan is located on the western half of a small island, the Isleta de San Juan, connected to the mainland by bridges and a causeway. The island, which comprises an area of 47 square miles or 122 square kilometer, also hosts the working-class neighborhood of Puerta de Terra, which is also the site of most of Puerto Rico's central government buildings, including the Commonwealth's capital. There is a tourist information center next to Pier 1.
The old San Juan trolley is a free shuttle that circulates to various points of interest around old San Juan and the forts. You can pick it up across from the information booth between cruise piers 3 and 4. These trolleys are strictly free transportation and are not tour or sightseeing trolleys. Nevertheless, the trolleys are a good way to get an overview of the city. This is a map of the old San Juan trolley routes. Here is the sign for the trolley stop. There is a trolley stop near the cruise ship piers. A few steps from the Tourist Information Building. The Tourist Information Center is just to the west of the cruise ship piers. And the trolley stop is on the street. A few steps to the west of that, there are three routes for the free trolleys. This trolley is for the Casa Alcadia City Hall route that goes to the Plaza des Armas in the center of Old San Juan. And the trolley route goes to El Moro. The trolley used for this route is an open a tram like vehicle with two cars. It bypasses the main shopping area and goes straight to the forts, passing the Capitol building along the way. Old San Juan was settled in 1521. Here is El Moro in the foreground. San Juan was once completely enclosed by city walls to protect the city and harbor. There were four openings or gates. Now, it is about three-fourths enclosed with one remaining gate. This shows more clearly the extent of the city walls. The old city is the main cultural tourist attraction for Puerto Rico. And the bayside is lined by slips for large cruise ships. San Juan Gate is the only remaining gate in the city walls. Built in 1639, it stands more than 16 feet tall. Partially surrounded by walls, historic old San Juan has been restored to a large extent, and it retains much of its original Spanish flavor. Parque de las Palomas is next to the San Juan Gate. The Parque de las Palomas, Pigeon Park, overlooks the restored La Princesa Jail, now a government office with an attractive art gallery. This park is the perfect spot from which to enjoy a magnificent view of the harbor, city and mountains. This shows the location of the Parque de las Palomas. What does Palomas mean in English? Why pigeons? Of course. This is Fort San Felipe del Moro with cruise ship piers in the background. This is Fort San Felipe del Moro with cruise ship piers in the background. The core of the old city is characterized by its narrow cobblestone streets and colonial buildings, and encompasses less than a mile by a mile and a half. This is a crowded street in Old San Juan. The buildings in Old San Juan date back to the 16th and 17th centuries. Parts of the old city remain partly enclosed by massive walls and contain several defensive structures and notable forts, such as Fort San Felipe del Moro, begun 1539, and Fort San Cristobal, 17th century. Both part of San Juan National Historic Site and El Palacio de Santa Catalina, also known as La Fortaleza begun in 1533, which serves as the governor's mansion. Other buildings of interest predating the 19th century are the Ayuntamiento or Alcaldia, City Hall. The Ayuntamiento or Alcaldia, City Hall, is on the Plaza de Armas and was built in 1789. It is said to have been inspired by the City Hall in Madrid, Spain. In the 1840s the building was heavily remodeled providing its present-day facade intended by its builders to be an exact replica of the City Hall in Madrid. The Ayuntamiento or Alcaldia, City Hall, has a tourism information center and a small gallery for periodic exhibitions.
The Plaza de Armas is at the center of Old San Juan. Plaza de Armas, Arm Square, is the main square of Old San Juan on San Jose Street. The Plaza de Armas features four statues, all over 100 years old, representing the four seasons. It was carefully planned as the main city square and has served as a social meeting place for generations. The Plaza de Armas, Plaza of Arms, is the name for the main square in many Latin American cities in Mexico. This space is often known as El Zocalo, and in Central America as Parque Central, Central Park. While some large cities have both a Plaza de Armas and a Plaza Mayor, in most cities those are two names for the same place. Most cities constructed by the Spanish conquistadores we designed on a standard military fashion based on a grid pattern. Taken from the Roman castrum. Oh fortified military camp. One of the blocks would be left vacant to form the Plaza de Armas. It is often surrounded by governmental buildings, churches, and other structures of cultural or political significance. The name derives from the fact that this would be a refuge in case of an attack upon the city, from which arms would be supplied to the defenders. In Old San Juan, the streets are paved with agoquines, which are bluish glazed bricks that were used as ballast in Spanish galleons. This is a view of Old San Juan. This is a view of Old San Juan. Plaza de Colón Columbus Square was originally called St. James Square and was renamed in 1893 to honor Christopher Columbus on the 400th anniversary of his discovery of Puerto Rico. Bronze tablets at the pedestal of the Columbus statue record important episodes in the explorer's life. These are colonial houses and cobbled streets in the historical quarter of San Juan. This is the Calle Tonka in Old San Juan. This is a view of Old San Juan. This is San Sebastian Street in Old San Juan. This is Old San Juan. This is another view of Old San Juan. This is Calle del Cristo in Old San Juan. These are some of the narrow streets of Old San Juan. La Fortaleza is the oldest executive mansion that is still in use in the Western Hemisphere. This shows the location of La Fortaleza. This is the back portion of La Fortaleza. The city walls of San Juan and the seaside gates to the city. This is La Fortaleza. This is La Fortaleza. This is La Fortaleza. Construction on the Iglesia de San Jose, San Jose Church, began in 1523. It is the oldest church in continuous use in the Western Hemisphere. Juan Ponce de Leon gave the land where the church now stands. Originally called the Church and Monastery of St. Thomas Aquinas. It was built by Dominican friars to serve as the monastery's church and the chapel dedicated to St. Thomas Aquinas. The section erected in 1532, the Mine Chapel or Sanctuary, is an excellent example of 16th century Spanish Gothic architecture. Ponce de Leon was buried here for 300 years until his body was moved to the San Juan Cathedral in 1913. This was the family church of Ponce de Leon's descendants. This is a statue of Ponce de Leon in front of the San Jose Church. The former house of the Ponce de Leon family is known as Casablanca. It was erected in 1521 for Juan Ponce de Leon, but he died before its completion. His family lived here for 250 years until the Spanish government acquired it for a military headquarters. 
Other buildings of interest from Spanish colonial times are the Teatro Tapia, the Ayuntamiento, City Hall, the former Spanish barracks, now Museum de Balaja, La Princesa, former municipal jail, now a history museum, and the municipal cemetery of Santa Maria Magdalena de Pazas, located just outside the city walls. The Pablo Casals Museum is located in the Colonial Plaza de San Jose and is dedicated to the cellist Pablo Casals, 1876-1973, who lived the last 17 years of his life in this city. The Cathedral of San Juan Batista in Old San Juan contains the tomb of the Spanish explorer and settlement founder, Juan Ponce de Leon. The cathedral was begun in 1521 and rebuilt in 1540, and again in 1802. The Catedral de San Juan San Juan Cathedral, is the second oldest cathedral in the Western Hemisphere. Construction began in 1521. The original church on these grounds had wooden walls and a thatched roof. It was destroyed by a hurricane in 1526. Rebuilt in 1540 and damaged by an oath a hurricane in 1615. The cathedral as seen today is the result of work done in 1917, when major restorations were performed. This cathedral is an authentic and rare New World example of medieval architecture. The cathedral contains the marble tomb of the island's first governor Juan Ponce de Leon, and the relic of San Pio, a Roman martyr. San Felipe del Moro is the northwesternmost point of the island of San Juan. Named in honor of King Philip II of Spain, the fort is also referred to as El Moro or Promontory. San Felipe del Moro was designed to guard the entrance to San Juan Bay and defend the city of old San Juan from seaborne enemies. Facing San Felipe del Moro, on the opposite side of the bay, a small effort known as El Canuelo complemented the fort's defense of the entrance to the bay. In 1983, San Felipe del Moro was declared a World Heritage Site by the United Nations in conjunction with the San Juan National Historic Site. In 1961, the United States Army officially retired from El Moro. The fort became a part of the National Park Service to be preserved as a museum. In 1992 El Moro's grounds were returned to their historic 18th century appearance as part of the quincentennial commemoration of the discovery of Puerto Rico by Christopher Columbus. San Felipe del Moro was named in honor of King Philip II. The word El Moro itself sounds powerful. And the six-level fortress certainly is. El Moro means the promontory in Spanish. San Felipe del Moro was begun in 1540 and completed in 1589. Most of the walls in the fort seen today were added later. In a period of major construction from the 1760s to the 1780s. The 18-foot-thick wall reached 140 feet above the sea and proved a formidable defense. It fell only once, in 1598, to a land assault by the British forces. The fort is a maze of tunnels, dungeons, barracks, outposts and ramps. El Moro is studded with small, circular sentry boxes called garitas that have become a national symbol. The views of San Juan Bay from El Moro are spectacular. San Felipe del Moro was designated a National Historic Site in 1949. El Moro has the distinction of being the largest fortification in the Caribbean. El Moro Fortress is a National Historic Site administered by the National Park Service. Over 2 million visitors a year explore the ramparts and passageways of the fort, making it one of Puerto Rico's main visitor attractions. This is a view of El Moro. The Castillo de San Cristobal. Like El Moro, 
was built by Spain to protect against land-based attacks on the city of San Juan. It is part of the San Juan National Historic Site. This shows the location of Castillo de San Cristobal. Castillo de San Cristobal is the largest fortification built by the Spanish in the New World. When it was finished in 1783, it covered about 27 acres of land and basically wrapped around the city of San Juan. And entry to the city was sealed by San Cristobal's double gates. Castillo de San Cristobal, San Cristobal Fort, was El Moro's partner in the defense of San Juan. San Cristobal was begun in 1634 and not completed until 1771. It was considered the Gibraltar of the West Indies. San Cristobal was supported by a massive system of outworks that provided defense in depth and is one of the largest defenses ever built in the Americas. It rose 150 feet, covering 27 acres of land. Fort San Cristobal is a strategic masterpiece with five independent units, each connected by a moat and tunnel, and each fully self-sufficient should the others fall. San Cristobal is a World Heritage and National Historic Site, administered by the U.S. National Park Service. This is the entrance to San Cristobal. This is Fort San Cristobal Square from above. This is a cannon at Fort San Cristobal. This is Plaza Colón near Fort San Cristobal. East of the old city is the capital, where the Puerto Rican legislature meets. This shows the location of the Capitol building. El Capitolio. El Capitolio. The Capitol building of Puerto Rico has the offices of the senators on one wing and those of the representatives on the other. There are galleries, friezes, mosaics and an impressive rotunda in which Puerto Rico's constitution is exhibited. Construction began in 1919 and the building was inaugurated in 1929. In the 20th century, San Juan expanded rapidly. The modern city extends to the east end of the island, and continues south of San Antonio Channel and Condado Lagoon to the residential districts of San Tuerce, Condado, Ocean Park, Rio Piedras, and Miramar. Cata Anaya Yo and Hado Ri are the chief industrial districts. The majority of the Commonwealth government offices are in the newer section of the city. There are several gardens and parks in the city. The Munoz Rivera Park has a beautiful garden, a small zoo, and a natural history museum. This park honors Luis Munoz Rivera, who is the first democratically elected governor of Puerto Rico and is regarded as the father of modern Puerto Rico. Tourism, which is vital to the local economy is the largest source of city revenue. The pleasant and mild tropical climate, beaches, and gambling casinos attract large numbers of tourists. San Juan's fine luxury resort hotels are among the largest and best in Latin America. San Juan is also Puerto Rico's financial capital. There are many corporate offices of United States banks. The majority of the financial institutions are concentrated in the Hato Rey District. The United States Naval Reservation and the military bases also contribute significantly to the economy. This is the financial district of Hato Rey. The United States Naval Reservation and other military bases also contribute significantly to the economy. Since World War II, San Juan's industries have expanded rapidly. The city is the largest industrial and processing center of Puerto Rico. Industries include petroleum and sugar refining, meat and fish packing, brewing, and distilling. Tours are offered at the Bacardi Rum Factory. 
A ferry from Old San Juan to the factory costs 50 cents each way. In a taxi is $2. This Bacardi Rum Factory tour is free with two free drinks. This shows the location of the Bacardi Rum Factory. The port of San Juan is one of the busiest in the Caribbean. The harbor has modern docking and warehouse facilities. San Juan's airport. Luis Muniz Marin International Airport is the busiest terminal in the Caribbean. La Perla is a community next to the northern historic city wall of Old San Juan. Stretching about 650 yards 600 meters along a rocky Atlantic coast immediately east of the Maria Magdalena de Pesi Cemetery and down the slope from north of Calle Norzigare. Paseo de la Princesa, promenade of the princess, is an elegantly landscaped walkway facing the bay. With trees, statues, benches, street lamps and kiosks. Paseo de la Princesa is located on the south side of Old San Juan near Plaza de Ostos in Plaza d'Arsenas, and just along from where the cruise ships dock. This shows the location of the Paseo de la Princesa. Paseo de la Princesa was originally built in 1853, and has recently been faithfully restored. Towering above are the impressive fortification walls of Old San Juan and to the left is San Juan Bay. East La Verde is a modern section of San Juan with many hotels along the ocean front. Another modern section of San Juan is Condado. Scenes of Puerto Rico El Junque National Forest is the only tropical rainforest in the United States National Forest System. This shows the location of El Junque National Forest. Rainfall of over 200 inches a year in some areas creates a jungle-like setting of lush foliage, waterfalls, and rivers. The forest has a number of trails from which the territory's jungle-like flora and fauna can be appreciated. La Coca Falls in El Junque National Forest was once believed to be the fountain of youth. The Arecibo Radio Telescope is currently the largest single-disc telescope in the world. It started operation in 1963. This radio telescope measures 1,000 feet, 305 meters, in diameter and resides in a natural valley of Puerto Rico. The Arecibo Telescope has been used for many astronomical research projects including studies of pulsars and mapping atomic and molecular gases in the galaxy and the universe. This shows the location of the Arecibo radio telescope. The Arecibo disk can also be used to send radio waves. It has bounced and recorded radiation off of planets in our solar system, and has even broadcast messages to areas of the galaxy that might contain intelligent extraterrestrial life. The Las Cabezas de San Juan Reserva Natural protects a historic lighthouse, a bioluminescent bay, rare flora and fauna, lush rainforest, various trails and boardwalks, and an important scientific research center. The reserve shelters seven different ecological systems, including beaches, lagoons, dry forests, coral reefs and mangroves. Animal species that forage here include big iguanas, fiddler crabs, myriad insects and all kinds of birds. Ferro de las Cabezas de San Juan is located on the northeastern part of the highest point of Cape San Juan. The reserve is open to the public. Visitors to Las Cabezas de San Juan Reserva Natural can explore the nature center located in the lighthouse, or follow trails into the reserve's different ecological settings. Cabo Rojo's Los Morelos was constructed in 1882 in order to guide passing ships through the southeast entrance from the Caribbean Sea, through the treacherous Mona Passage, into the Atlantic Ocean. The cliffs surrounding the lighthouse drop over 200 feet into the ocean.
This shows the location of Cabo Rojo's Los Morelos at the southwestern tip of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico has a tropical climate with little seasonal variation. Although local conditions vary according to elevation and exposure to rain-bearing winds, northeast trade winds bring heavy rainfall to the north coast, while the south coast is in a rain shadow. Will it be hot in Puerto Rico, or will it be very hot? Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year in San Juan. We see that the temperature does not vary much during the year. The high temperatures are in the 88 degree Fahrenheit range during the summer and 83 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter. The nighttime low temperatures range from about 75 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer and about 70 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter. Hey, uh, the average high and low temperatures in degrees Celsius throughout the year in San Juan. Rainfall. Here is the average monthly rainfall in inches throughout the year in San Juan. Here is the average monthly rainfall in millimeters throughout the year in San Juan. Puerto Rico has a greater variety of industrial, commercial, and financial service activities and a better developed transportation network than other Caribbean islands. It is some of the most favorable economic and demographic conditions in Latin America and the Caribbean. Despite this relative prosperity, however, Puerto Rico's general economic position and standard of living are below that found in the United States. Puerto Rico has a largely service-based economy. The GDP composition by sector is agriculture 1%, industry 45%, and services 54%. What does Puerto Rico make? The primary industries of Puerto Rico are pharmaceuticals, electronics, apparel, food products, and tourism. The primary agricultural products of Puerto Rico are Sugar cane, coffee, pineapples, plantains, bananas, livestock products, and chickens. What does Puerto Rico sell? The primary exports of Puerto Rico are chemicals, electronics, apparel, canned tuna, rum, beverage concentrates and medical equipment. The main export trading partners of Puerto Rico are the US 90%, UK 1.6%, the Netherlands 1.4%, and the Dominican Republic 1.4%. What does Puerto Rico buy? The main imports of Puerto Rico are chemicals, Machinery and equipment, clothing, food, fish, and petroleum products. The main import trading partners of Puerto Rico are the U.S. 55%, Ireland 24%, and Japan 5.4%. A major industry in Puerto Rico is pharmaceuticals. These are some of the major pharmaceutical companies with manufacturing facilities in Puerto Rico. These are more of the major pharmaceutical companies with manufacturing facilities in Puerto Rico. These are more of the major pharmaceutical companies with manufacturing facilities in Puerto Rico. Other products of Puerto Rico are cement, metal products, tobacco, clothing, ceramics, electronic equipment, and chemicals. Many firms from the United States operate in San Juan under a tax-exempt shelter. Handicrafts include handbags, placemats, leather goods, and pottery. 
The Puerto Rican debt crisis is an ongoing financial crisis related to the amount of debt owed by the government of Puerto Rico. The island has more than $70 billion of outstanding debt, with a debt-to-GDP ratio of about 68%. The crisis has caused Puerto Rico's government to adopt policies that will ideally reduce costs drastically, increase revenues, and boost economic growth so that it can better fund its debt obligations. Puerto Rico's economy has been described as precarious, weak, and fragile. Puerto Rico has by far the highest government debt as a percentage of personal income of all of the U.S. states and territories. Recommended videos, Puerto Rico. Recommended video, Puerto Rico Top 5 Travel Attractions Puerto Rico Video 2. 1 minute. 7 seconds. Recommended video, Visit Puerto Rico. The Hidden Gem of the Caribbean, 10 minutes. Recommended video, El Moro. Old San Juan. Puerto Rico Fort San Felipe del Moro, 5 minutes. 20 seconds. Recommended video, Why This Giant Puerto Rican Fort Kept Growing, Smithsonian Channel, 2 minutes. Recommended video, Old San Juan, Puerto Rico, Goddess of the Sea, 13 minutes, 45 seconds. Recommended video, En Mi Viejo San Juan, 3 minutes, 20 seconds. Recommended video, Top 10 Places in Puerto Rico, 8 minutes, 2 seconds. 10 Amazing Things to Do in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Recommended video, CBS and Originals Fighting for Paradise, Puerto Rico's Future, 27 minutes, 21 seconds. Puerto Rico, Table of Contents. Thanks for watching. Please watch some more of my great videos.